The Polymorph Personal Compute Platform Project is a project that aims at reimagining personal computing. The target use cases for the Polymorph Personal Compute Platform are the classical personal computing use cases such as simple presentations and documents, recipes, books, spreadsheets, charts, diagrams, lists, notes, photos, playing audio and video, chat, mail, video conferencing, file sharing and backup, etc. etc. The target audience for the Polymorph Personal Compute Platform are private users and possibly small businesses with like 1 to 20, 25 employees or so. Because Polymorph targets users with more limited finances, most of the technologies developed during the project will be open standards or open soft software. There might be some lightly commercial managed services later on, but they will be made affordable then. Polymorph might be useful for medium-sized businesses and enterprises too, but these are not in the core target audience. These companies typically have other requirements that Polymorph will not be addressing, at least not in the beginning. Some of the technologies from the Polymorph project might still be useful outside of the Polymorph project though, for medium to large size businesses, but it is not the main goal. It's not the main target audience. The way the Polymorph Personal Compute Platform intends to address the target use cases is via this design. The main component is the Personal Compute Platform Base. This is an application that runs on the end user's computer and provides a scriptable interface to the platform. The Platform Base provides a lot of built-in functionality that can be activated through this scriptable interface. The platform base is also able to connect to a communication fabric via which it can communicate with platform base apps running on other people's computers peer-to-peer -peer style. On top of the platform base, you can plug in your own applications for specific use cases. And sometime in the future, there will probably also be some kind of personal assistant app which makes it easier to use the platform base app for non-technical users so they don't have to write scripts. This personal assistant app may also be able to make it easier to use plugin applications for non-technical users. This is not 100% decided yet. The future will tell exactly how this will work and be designed. Some of the core technologies that will come out of this Polymorph project are the Polymorph VM, which is an embeddable virtual machine that can provide a scriptable interface for a service or application. This VM could be used outside of Polymorph 2 to turn a microservice into a micro platform. Several other Polymorph tools will most likely be developed too. The Polymorph data encoding and Polymorph data language are a binary encoding with a textual counterpart. Thus, you can convert from the binary to the textual version and vice versa. This data format pair provides a fast, compact and very versatile way to encode data both for use as a message format, a network message format, and a data storage format. They support both the documents and streams of records. Additionally, the Polymorph Polyring peer-to-peer -peer topology provides a new peer-to-peer -peer topology that is able to support several more use cases than the currently most commonly used peer-to-peer -peer topologies which are Candemia and Gnutella variants. Finally, a network protocol needs to be developed which can support all kinds of topologies, meaning client-server, edge computing, and peer-to-peer -peer and prob probably or possibly 
mesh computing as well, and also different communication communication patterns such as request response and subscribe notify, but also triangular communication where A messages B, B messages C, and C then responds back to A. All of these technologies could be used outside of the Polymorph project too. Polymorph is not a Web3 project. The Web3 movement has a similar set of goals as Polymorph, but their suggested technology stack looks different from that of Polymorph. Web3 compute platforms tend to run on top of a cryptocurrency and blockchain platform. In Polymorph, on the other hand, this layering is reversed. At the bottom, you have the compute platform. And if you wanted to implement a cryptocurrency and blockchain platform, it would run on top of the compute platform, not the other way around. Additionally, in Polymorph, you could implement many other use cases directly on top of the compute platform, which have no need for cryptocurrencies and blockchain. Also, Web3 platforms tend to be 100% decentralized, whereas Polymorph is designed to be able to use any topology that suits the use case and the end user. Polymorph is also not a traditional web project. As I said in the beginning of this video, the purpose of Polymorph is to reimagine personal computing. And that includes reimagining the technologies used inside the platform. Here, I have listed some of the biggest differences between web technology and polymorph technology as I see them. The web is focused on client server and possibly edge computing. Polymorph is designed to serve local peer-to-peer -peer mesh, edge and client server computing and variance between these. The web is document oriented, whereas Polymorph is stream oriented. A document is simply a stream with a single record in. The web uses HTML, JavaScript, JSON, XML, SVG, etc. Polymorph uses the Polymorph VM, data encoding, data language, etc. The web uses HTTP and web sockets and Polymorph uses the Polymorph protocol. The web uses web browsers, and Polymorph uses the scriptable compute platform base app and the more human-friendly personal assistant app. That concludes this short introduction to the Polymorph personal compute platform project. If you're interested in this project, you can find more information in the description below this video. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments below this video or find the Polymorph LinkedIn group and ask there. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel.